This idea then of pausing for five um, years and then kind of independently looking at the statistics and all the rest of it and then going back to smart motorways that everyone knows about where the technology is is supposedly very good. Would you support that? Only in that it gives me more time to get into the High Court and get them banned by the, by the High Court because that is what I'm doing. I'm bringing a digital review to get them blocked in the High Court and that just gives... Obviously, le law, legal work takes a long time anyway, but the mm. pandemic has completely derailed that. Um, so we, we're still bringing this and any pause would just stop more deaths while we're waiting to get into court because there is no substitute for the hard shoulder and even education you can educate people but if your car won't move your car won't move and again I just said to you would you rather break down in a live running lane or a hard shoulder you can tell me hard shoulders are dangerous I know hard shoulders are dangerous Let's not make them more dangerous. It absolutely defies logic. And it's all very well to say, we hold our hands up and say we make mistakes and say it was successive governments that have done this. But that doesn't stop my husband being dead. It doesn't stop 57 other people being mm. dead. Mm. This is Grenfell on the roads. Uh, Hugh Merriman, uh, Claire has asked us that question twice now and I wonder how you would, would answer it. Uh, where would you rather break down? I would rather get into a position where I'm on a hard shoulder. That's my gut. And actually what's interesting is when we asked the chief executive of uh, then Highways England, who is responsible for this, um, which he would rather break down on, his answer was, well, I'd rather not break down on a, on a motorway at all, which I, at the time I just thought is a hopeless lack of understanding mm -hmm. about the concerns. So I get it completely. I've been on two select committee reports, 2016, and now chairing this one. I'm very strong on what I believe needs to happen. But equally, if the evidence is not clear either way, we, we have to be careful that we don't um, go with our gut feeling and our emotions and then potentially make things less safe. And I'm all about the evidence and I'm all about safety uh, when it comes down to it. And I hope that our report stands uh, for itself. And I hope the government will accept the recommendations uh, and we will have that time to make things better for, for future road users. And I say again to Claire, who's been helpful to us through our inquiry. My heart goes out for her loss and to all others who lose loved ones, not just on smart motorways, but on the entire road network.